Oh, we never did. No, that. I know it, of course not. But Parmesan Reggiano. Parmesan Reggiano. <laughs> you gotta sing it. You know what? There you are. Is it going? How you doing? It's going. It's We're going. doing good. Okay. Hey, uh, I am going to cook because the kids are coming, uh, and the whole tribe, the tribe is coming. I'm going to. I'm sort of getting ready in my mind and now in the cooking uh, for them coming, and she's used to making those big. Messy. We have things. to prepare. And so we got to prepare. So I'm going to do something as it relates. I'll do spaghetti or something like that. But I've been wanting to do my own marinara sauce, my own spaghetti sauce for a while because the more and more I get to the store with inflation, what it's doing across our nation mm -hmm. uh, and, and uh, prices and all that, the cost of one of those jars, a good, you know, good tasting jar of spaghetti sauce is, uh, you know, it's ridiculous. So I figured I can do a big batch. I can put it away in our little, um, what are those, quart jars? Those, um, those uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, with the top, I can freeze it. The glass ones. The glass ones, yeah. And uh, I'll have it around and I'll have a lot. We don't do a lot of spaghetti, but when we do, it's nice. And I like Alfredo too, I'm not ready to do that. But this, I thought, why not? And when I was in the store the other day, oh, um, stop everything. What did you do with my four cans of Tomato. Oh, I put them in the pantry. Oh, did you? Because it was four days ago that you bought Oh, them. okay. Well, hang on. Let me get them. <laughs> Other than that, though, really, when you make your own marinara, I think it tastes a lot better than the canned. So, the only thing he hasn't done, correct me if I'm wrong, Jerry, the only thing you haven't done is use your own tomatoes. You bought canned I'm tomatoes. Doing, I'm not doing my own tomatoes because I don't have a garden. Right. So, but I was in the store at the, the little Italian store that we go to a lot of times, and they had these uh, whole uh, uh, Italian tomatoes uh, in a can. They had them on sale. They was like 99 cents a can. I thought, oh, why not? So I got four cans. This is gonna make a number of uh, quarts of this uh, marinara sauce. And so while I was there, I picked up some sausage, and they didn't have, uh, they had only the mild in the casing. So I came home and I, actually I forgot to do this one, I take the casing off. You could easily just do this with um, uh, pieces of sausage in there, but I know my grandkids and some of those boys, they'll t take all the, when it's time to scoop up. Oh, not they'll, just them, I do the same. You do, they'll take all the good like sausage. The sausage. They'll take all the good sausage and leave all the juice for the, yeah. the little ones. And so I'm, I'm on the, to their tricks. And so we're not gonna let that happen. Well, we're I not do gonna, that. Where's my towel? What happened to my I towel? I don't know, he's not very organized today. So no. we'll see what Here it happens. Is. Here's one, found one. <laughs> and so um, I'm going to uh, do, uh, I, I got some ground sirloin, which really ups the game a little bit. Two pounds of that, two pounds of mild sausage, mm. sweet sausage, uh, Italian sausage. And then uh, I'll just show you the whole thing. And but what we're going to do first um, is get the uh, get, get the uh, onions starting to okay. simmer. And it's going to take 30 minutes on those to get those. So I'm on low heat, big pot, and I'm going to do about three uh, okay. table. You want to go make back? Sure that all this you better get. Yeah, you better. I'm sorry. Some must be behind the camera. Some must be I guess. in front of the camera. About I'm going to do three tablespoons or so of oil here, good olive oil. And I'm going to, it's already steaming up down there. There we go, yeah, it's a little bit more, but whatever. Okay. And I'm going to put the onions in and just start, got my onions going. And like I said, it's gonna take about 30 minutes to make these things nice and translucent. And, and near the end of that 30 minutes, we're gonna put in about 10 cloves of garlic too, uh, minced, and that's gonna be really good. I like a lot so of garlic. how much is this making? Um, well, I think it makes about a, I'm thinking about four like four to something? six quarts. I think about okay. six quarts actually, yeah. yeah. So it'll be good when it's all said and done. So we'll let that go for a little bit. And then, um, and I, by the way, I did a nice thing and I hope my editor appreciates what I did when I find what I did. <laughs> is I, uh, I'm losing things today. Yes, you are. I had uh, a nice uh, wooden spatch. Oh, here it is, right here in front yeah, of my nose. Yeah, right there. Uh, and I, um, there I am doing a wood instead of metal so that she doesn't 
I don't quite see in there. That pot's a little too It's much. a little bit, but hey, I gotta have a big one for this thing, trust me. Okay, so let's let that cook and I'm going to get everything ready and then I'm going to come back and show you what we're going to do here, okay? Okay, um, just constantly checking this and I didn't check the time, but it's been about 10 minutes. So I've got about a little bit longer to go there. Now, look at, I'm just going to tell you, and by the way, these are the whole tomatoes that I bought. Four cans of it. I'm going to put this last one in. But I, I want to tell you something. Everybody... They're whole tomatoes? They're whole tomatoes, yeah. Wow, Except I did saucy. put in, I had one can of crushed, and so I put oh, that in okay. there. So it's a little different, but I'm going to crush these down anyhow. And uh, I'm going to do it, and this is the playtime. This is the fun part. Oh, with your hands? Yeah. And uh, everybody has an opinion about what brand of tomatoes to use and all that, as I was reading some things prior to doing this recipe, because I've never made my own marinara. I'm thinking, okay, well, what kind of tomatoes? Uh, you know, a whole tomato should I buy? And boy, some people are very adamant about this, that, or the other brand. Doesn't bother me. What you know, uh, I don't think my tongue is sophisticated enough to tell the difference between the two. So, uh, I'm, this is an Italian brand from Joseph's Market. It's what they use. And like I said, when I walked in there the other day, they had uh, <laughs> like two big pyramids right in the whole front of the store where these were on sale. So I picked up four cans. I would have picked up more, but I just don't have room in my pantry. And number two, I just don't use marinara sauce that much. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here, and I've got my gloves on for those of you that are watching, and you're gonna break this down and crush these up and uh, get them all nice. You could buy crushed tomatoes, but I like the pieces that this makes, and I think it's gonna be a little bit nicer thing for us. And and on some of it you might have to go in there with your little sharp knife which I have around here somewhere and uh, take the tops off but actually I'm getting pretty good uh, I can feel it. it's coming good so this is how we're gonna do it we're just gonna break this down and in fact I should have put two gloves on but um, anyhow I just wanted you to see oh yeah it's doing very good <laughs> so and you so you're gonna have pieces of tomato in there you're going to have um, and it's all gonna cook together. It's all gonna be very very good. So I'm looking forward to it And like I said, I didn't sort of skimp on the, uh, the sausage or the ground sirloin You could use hamburger or good old hamburger, but that's gonna have a little bit more fat in it It's gonna have a little bit more um, juice on it and you might not want to do that So oh, I'm man, thinking that this is yeah. me. Look. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Look at it's this. Like, oh, look at I'm this. getting it right on my no. You know what it's like when you eat a, have you ever done that when you eat? You gotta back eating, up. Eating corn on the cob <laughs> or eating a lemon and it splashes in your eye. And I know, but Sorry, that well, look doesn't at me, come I out. did it too. It was one. I know. It was uh, a rogue tomato. You think? Yeah. <laughs> sort of fun and I've got minutes to waste here to do it. And well, I'm gonna try to wash this out because okay. it stains. It's been about 45 minutes. I probably had the temperature a little low. But basically, what I'm after, I'm gonna just oh, show just you. Show. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm after that oh, onion yeah. to be really nicely brown and caramelized, and it might even could go a few more minutes. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put in my uh, ten cloves of, of uh, minced garlic, and some of you may have counted and said, "Man, he can't count ten. Well, I took several little ones and made it one because I I like garlic anyhow, and it calls for. Ten cloves, and I thought, eh, I'm gonna make it up here. So, you cook this with the uh, now with the garlic about three or four minutes, and uh, you know I'm moving. Okay, good, thank you. And don't worry about it burning there. We're gonna deglaze this pan with some wine in about three or four minutes, and then we're gonna cook it all for another uh, about five to seven minutes, actually, uh, until the wine comes down to about half. Uh, it's a volume that we put in. I'm going to put a cup of wine in and I'm putting a um, what, what am I putting? Uh, a Cabaret Sauvignon. That's what I'm doing. It's a red wine and I'm going to do a cup of that. So, uh, and that gives it, oh man, the flavor just goes outstanding with that and uh, I think it's going to add nicely to what we're trying to accomplish here. It's pretty caramelized uh, what we want with the onions. Now we're going to dump in, like I said, a quarter cup of the red wine. Quarter. I mean a, ha a whole cup, excuse me. 
<laughs> but what we want, I beg your pardon, yeah, yes, a, a whole cup, cup, it sure is. We want to deglaze, so I'm going to move along here, and that all that fond down on the bottom, so very good. You do want um, to keep it at a low to medium heat. I've got mine here on the induction set at uh, three, and I'm really going to let this cook for about five or seven minutes, and it should reduce the volume of liquid to about one half of what it is. And then we're gonna put in the meat, and we're gonna get that all going. So that's the next part. Okay, what you doing over here? All right, I've got it down. You can see it's sort of more pasty or whatever. Yep. It's reduced. And uh, i am just brought this thing over here so that I can... Something's uh, beeping. It's that oh, <coughs> induction yeah. plate. But okay, I thought it was my camera. It's telling me there's nothing on there, and there's nothing on there. I here. thought it was my camera mm -hmm. telling me I did something wrong again. No. And really, I'm just crumbling it up, getting it in here, and I'm going to put the sirloin in, the ground sirloin, just the same way. And really, all you're wanting to do here is you're wanting to make sure <clears throat> the meat is cooked. There's no more pink. And then once that's established, we're going to put the tomatoes in. We're going to put in, and I've already measured it out, um, a quarter cup of um, basil, dry basil. And we've got three tablespoons of dry uh, oregano that we're going to put in. And we're going to cook that whole mess once this meat is cooked we're going to cook that whole mess for about 30 minutes or so on still on low heat and again this is more this is not a fast and easy meal this is more uh prep you know i mean we're not just uh boiling off some uh, spaghetti noodles pasta noodles and throwing ketchup on it and calling it uh spaghetti sauce oh we never did no that. i know it of course not <laughs> but uh my point is it takes some time to develop flavors and develop um the, you know the type of thing you're wanting here and right and to do this just for one meal is hard it was so that's difficult what's so nice. that's why we're doing yeah. a bunch exactly all right. right okay we're gonna just watch you here all right now as you can see there's no more pink all the meat is cooked and now what i'm going to do is to add three things i'm going to add and then i'm going to do this it's good for you yeah, i'm, learning, I'm still going to stand over here yeah you better you had better and uh i'm going to add oh. <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> Bombs away. Oh, jeez, sorry. Uh, I'm going to add uh, the uh, tomato, and we're going to cook this along with the, the oregano and the basil. And we're going to cook this for about 30 minutes on medium low. And I'll tell you what, you're just after here a total incorporation of everything. And it's going to cook and get a little bit more juicy. Sorry. No, you haven't got me yet. Mm -hmm. And then what, <laughs> what we're going that. what we're going to do. Oh, now that could have gotten me. There's nothing worse than pouring tomatoes into a pot. I know. It always splashes. And not only that, but that pot, uh, uh, the, this that thing is so heavy. heavy. I just don't I know, like I can't it. Do it. Got it's it all in too. and sort of avoided any any type catastrophe. of catastrophe exactly right we were thinking alike yeah. and uh hopefully it all worked and just before i stir it around with the meat and everything and then just let it sit and cook for 30 minutes um and by the way you could uh somebody gonna ask well could we do meatballs could we do um uh sausage chunks you really could but like i said everybody now you know everybody's gonna get here, you can look at this, it's sort of cool. Mm -hmm. Everybody um, is going to get meat, and you're not going to have anybody hogging. Come well, on you now. You don't have to brown your meat before and you And you don't have to, no, sauce. that's right. You just do what you got to do. So there it is. Now we're just going to stir. Now, somebody are probably are asking, what about salt and pepper? And Nothing seasoned yet, except for the now the oregano and the basil that's gone in. And I know some people don't like basil. I've got two friends that won't eat this because it has basil if you tell them but with an incorporate like this they won't hardly even know and both of them by the way are named mike can you believe that michael or mike so i don't know what that is with that but I'm not gonna... <laughs> but anyhow um we just don't like it overpowering them. i guess yeah so and you do dry because it is going to incorporate a little bit better i usually like of course uh the um fresh but this is going to work out it's really great sauce. it is a thick sauce yeah and if you do need to thicken it up later and we're, uh, if you did after 30 40 minutes of cooking no yeah but then you're going to um 
add, you can add some tomato paste and that'll thicken everything up nicely. But this is gonna be very, very, very good. So let's let that cook away and um, everybody's gonna All get right. happy for a while. Okay, we have had this cooking for about 35 minutes now and it's just perfect. I actually, Susan and I were just talking, I think it's just the perfect consistency at least for us. If you wanted something a little bit thicker, you could add uh, uh, tomato paste uh, to your liking. I, I like this, and I think it's gonna make quite a number of quarts for me. Uh, now, with it cooked, all I'm going to do is I'm going to add about a half a cup of chopped uh, Italian parsley. And this, I love this stuff. It always gives it a nice earthy tone to uh, the taste, and I, I really prefer that. And then about three tablespoons of a balsamic uh, vin oh, I gotta take the lid off. Three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar in there. There you go. And then you're going to do a cup and a half each uh, of uh, uh, pecorino romano. And uh, I need to get my cup thing out here. And so. I haven't been keeping up on the dishes for you. Cup and a half of this. We're gonna just stir this in. And oh, I mean, this just makes things good. And then we're also going to do the same amount, a cup and a half. Parmigiano. Uh, Parmigiano. Regani, what, uh, uh, what is Red, it? <laughs> I have to see it. Reggi right Reggiano. Yes. Reggiano. I have to mm -hmm. see it. Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano Reggiano. <laughs> you got to sing it. You know what? Well, no, I'm going to leave that. Okay. And then I'm going to do salt and pepper. And honestly, this is where it gets a little critical because you really don't want to over salt. But at the same time, um, and I'm using a kosher salt. Uh, the recipes I looked at, many of them do either kosher or um, sea salt. And I just don't do sea salt very much around here. I'm gonna put in a nice amount of ground pepper. I just love that stuff, that is for sure. And then I'm going to take this and let me get my nice Sue, I'm going to put some uh, spaghetti noodles on, and uh, we're going to eat a little oh, yeah. bowl of spaghetti tonight. Mm -hmm. Look at how that just blends so beautiful. Good. Oh, that's going to be so good. And honestly, folks, the taste has got to be outstanding. Now, look, at you might find, by the way, and you'll see some people do it. They'll put a little bit of sugar in this and yeah. uh, give it a little to, sweet. You know why they do that? I don't know. It's supposed to cut the acid. Cut the acid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yep. uh, let me just try. I love that. And oh my goodness. Look at There's a big piece of sausage. Yeah. I'm breaking that up. One of them little kids would get that and go. Are you going to taste it? Oh, would you like me to? Well, you have to. You're the cook. Well, I was going to make the pasta, but I'll taste you it. Gotta, I do want to taste just, it for salt. Right. And so uh, let me do that. Yeah, it's good. Here. Well, it's the cheese. It's everything. It is everything. As, as long as you like it, I'll wait and taste you it. You sure? Yeah, I'll taste it on the spaghetti. Well, i have another. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Salt's good? Salt is just perfect. All right. I would not do it anymore. Okay, we're so, going to fix the noodles. I'm gonna, and let me fix the noodles and I'll make up a plate and I'll show you the finished product. And then we're going to let this cool down. And we're gonna uh, pour it in some of my mason jars, and we'll put some in the fridge, and we'll also put some in um, most of it in the freezer, and then take it out. And take it out a day before you out of your freezer. If you're gonna use it, let it thaw in the fridge naturally. I mean, this is good stuff. You'll just you'll love it. In fact, I'm gonna use this Parmesan sprinkle on top of our. We're going to have a good meal tonight, Sue. All right. And this is a Saturday night. We normally don't even have a good meal on Saturday night. All right. It's Anyhow, good to change we'll up tradition. Change up tradition, that's <laughs> right.